Monday morning, everybody. Old Love here, and welcome back to Laura Jones, The Gates of Good and Evil. Last time, Bob explained that he once read about some sort of chamber under one of the campus buildings in an old document. Now Laura must find this old document in the library's vast archives. There we go. That's a bit better. All right, so we are looking for, uh, yeah, we're looking for for some sort of an archive. 10.50 a.m. University Library. It should be here somewhere. What are we looking for? Some sort of old document? Yes, it's rather dilapidated, and it was in the stack of old papers. Right, old documents of which there are tons all around. This is not how you proper, this, this is not how you store valuable old documents. This is just, this is, this is very inappropriate. You would think that uh, like a librarian type person would know this. Now, ah, here it is. You mean this pile of scraps? Yes, we need to piece it back to Why did you tear it up? He said that he had read about this in an old document. We find the old document and it's shredded. Okay, I'll try to put everything back into order. Why did he rip it up? That's just... That's incredibly stupid. It's just, yeah, that makes zero sense. This, this is, this has pretty much gone off the deep end at this point, I feel. I mean, the fact that he, f that he read something about this type of a situation or that type of, of, building, you know, that, that type of, of opening in the building. I don't doubt that. I just, like I said, I really doubt that he would like rip up the manuscript. And if he didn't rip it up, who did? I mean, at best he is going to get fired for negligence, but he should get fired for a whole lot more. Because, yeah, basically, he would have had to have left this... He would have had to have leave, left everything, you know, un, unsupervised. At best. At best, he left everything unsupervised. And somebody broke in and just, like, tore the place up. And even then, that just, that doesn't sound quite right. I almost get the feeling that he noticed something and he was scared of something. So he ripped this up and, you know, he's just like refusing to admit guilt. All right, there's that. I was gonna say, you look like you would be right up on there, yeah. Okay, so this one goes over here. Ah. Okay, Th ah. All right, there we go. That's better. All right, so that should have everything there. Oh, wait, is this go down here? No goes there. All right. All 
All right, the angle's there, the part of the book's there, the part of the header's there. That's just square, so that's obvious where it's gotta go. All right, that fits down there. There has to be one more piece that's, yep. Hidden under everything else. All right, so there we go. There's the manuscript. This really isn't telling us anything. Looks the, like the interior of an old building. Yes, it does, because it is an interior of an old building that tells us absolutely nothing. Okay, the document's ready. Of course, it's an old picture of the neighboring hall from the turn of the century. According to the other documents in the archive, there's a secret passage in that room, but I never found it. Can I take a look? Yes, let's go. Laura finds the old document, but unfortunately it's in very poor condition and needs to be pieced to get back together. She discovers that there should be a secret passageway in one of the building's halls and tries to find it. The hall from the photograph. Okay, we need to find a secret passageway. Let's look at everything. Okay, there's a... Okay, there's... Ooh, hey! Alright, um... So what, we need animals for these? Is that it? Ah, okay. Okay, what was it? Boom, boom. Okay. There we go. All right, so the shark would go in the ocean. The kangaroo would go on Australia. The giraffe would go on Africa. Boar would go in Europe. Buffalo would go in America. The bear would go... Russia, dragon would go in China, the tiger would go in up here, and this would go, whatever that was, I don't know what that was. I have no idea what that last animal was. Wow, you found it! Quick, let's go! I'm sure there's something interesting down there. Well, as nobody's been down there for ages, I'm pretty sure you're right. That's kind of a no-brainer. I'm inclined to agree, agree with you, but, uh... But what? I could be wrong, but what do we do if the door closes behind us? I don't know if we'll be able to open it from the other side, and really, we have no idea what's down there. Oh, Bob, I'm sure it's not dangerous. How about I go down and you just wait here for... If I'm not back in an hour, you go and get help. Are you sure you really d want to go down there? Yes, I'm sure everything will just be, f I'm sure everything will be just fine. So relax, okay? Okay, just take care, okay? Okay, I'll wait for you here and if you're not back in an hour, I'll run for help. Great, now let me through. Bob recognized the room in the photograph and took Laura to it. Laura, using all of her wits, found a secret passageway in the library wall. Laura boldly goes down the steps in search of what could be another artifact. 12.45 p.m. So here I am in the secret passageway and there doesn't seem to be any torches. I guess it must have gone out. I'll have to look around. 
Well, yeah, it's not like it's gonna be a bucket of kerosene. That's handy. There's something under this rock. A lighter. A big stick. Some fabric. So now if we dip that in the kerosene and put that in the torch holder and light it, <coughs> it's the same f thing for my, okay. Well, there we go. Just keep pushing buttons till something good happens. And the artifact must be here somewhere. You hope. Um, there's one there. Nope, that doesn't go there. Okay, so there's got to be more. Ah, there's a gem. Okay, so that one goes there. That one goes there. I'm pretty sure. Kind of hard to think with all this like water sound in my earballs. So I've got to have. Oh, wait, is that? Yeah. Okay, so there's got to be one more gym somewhere. I just don't see it. Oh. Okay, so there's the artifact. Where's that flame coming from? I don't know, but we have a thing of water. Load the gems onto the scale so they balance evenly. Right, so these two will balance there. Blue will balance that. Success! Wait, no. You are all even. You two are even. But you... Yeah, there we go. Simple. This one, however, not so simple. But at least they like, they sparkle. See, they sparkle when they, when they match up. So we actually need a heavier weight. All right, what if we take There we go. Okay, that's got it. Now these two are even, but this one needs to be a bit heavier. That's got to be a red one then. Yeah, that's got that entire side even. All right, there's, that's even. Wait, nope, nope. Why the hell is it so easy to, to swap them like that? That's horrible. Okay, that's even, that's even. That should bring everything, yep, okay, there we go. Ha <laughs> ha! Good job! Thank you. Where are we going next? We are going to a lockbox of some sort. With a family crest on the side. Eh, 
interesting. What an interesting coat of arms on that chest. I bet if I want to find the next artifact, I should start looking for that crest. I'll have to ask Bob about it. Oh, Bob. 12.45 p.m., the hall with the map. Here I am! Laura, wh wh what did you find? Nothing interesting, just stones, a spider web, and water. And that's it? Yeah! How disappointing. Bob, can you tell me about a certain coat of arms? I saw it only briefly. It's nothing unusual. I just want to learn more about it. Did you see it while you were in the secret underground chamber? You could say so. Okay, please draw a picture for, of it for me. Give a holler when you're done and I'll see if I can find it in the catalog. All right, but I think that's where we're gonna end it for today. That gets us a really good stopping point. That gets us a new artifact. We beat the, the, the latest uh, ordeal. As always, thank you guys very much for watching, and don't forget to put the subscribe button down below so that you can stay tuned for more from Olav Productions. If you want to see some crazy Here you go. So nice that you should meet me and my friends, even though we got whoa, no money. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Where the frick did those guys come from? It's like, stop! Who goes there? Be a friend or foe? I will spear you with my helmet if you refuse to speak.